the wedding, the henna night takes place. Um, and this usually belongs to the girls, girl side. Um, so usually only women come, but sometimes some people like to do it together, and then both uh, men and women will come. Um, and it can be at the bride's house or somewhere else. And the bride-to-be usually wears a traditional red dress um, and is sat in, the middle, in a chair, and there's a veil over her face, usually in red, as you see um, on, in the picture. Um, and that's because to hide her tears, because she said that she's leaving her family's home. Um, and then after she sits in the middle, young girls with candles set, uh, ha that have hanan filled dishes in their hand, um, they go around in a circle while the bride is sitting in the middle, and they sing traditional <coughs> songs. And when the songs end, sometimes some people will make a small little prayer, um, and then they'll put, and then the mother of the, the mother-in-law of the groom of the bride comes and puts henna into the bride's hand. And then uh, the bride closes her hand, doesn't open it up until the mother-in-law places a little bit of gold in the other hand. So then, the mother-in-law puts a little bit of gold in the daughter's hand, and then she'll open her hand to put more henna in. Um, and this is a tradition. So when mother-in-laws go to the henna night, they will always have a little piece of gold in their pocket because they know that the, the bride will not open her hand if there's no gold. And then afterwards, um, everyone eats meals, and there's usually a dance party, and everyone just has fun. And it's sort of the last single night of the girl's life. Question? Yes, question. Yes. And if she doesn't open her hand, what happens? <laughs> the wedding will not proceed. Will not proceed? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I have a question about Henry sure, Knight also. The Do they yeah. then um, paint her hands or something? or? Yeah, so it, uh, the henna is usually not very intricate like the Indian henna that you might see or the more um, Far East types of henna that you might see. In Turkey, we don't really have a lot of intricate, it's not very traditional, but now more and more people are learning how to do intricate henna, and now it's becoming part of the tradition. Uh, but usually they'll just put like a swap of henna in one's hand, and then um, you have the henna stay on for, you know, some people don't really like henna, so maybe an hour, and then they'll wash it off. Some people love it, and they'll keep it the whole night, and then the more you keep it, the, the more color it has. So it just depends how much you like henna or not. What is henna? Oh, is henna, henna is a herb, um, and, but you mix it with water or the tea to make it really orange. And when you mix it up, it becomes like a very um, moist but solid paste. texture. Paste. Paste, almost like a paste that you decorate with. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the significance of gold in the Turkish culture? Because I don't know. The, what, what is what the significance? The gold? The gold? It's just part of the tradition because gold has a lot of value and you want to give something that doesn't lose value. And money, if you give money, that might lose value, but most often gold doesn't lose value and it's always increases in value, so you want to give something that can help the thriving group.